Hi, this is Paul. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do some headings for the test oven analysis spreadsheet to kind of get it set up for the calculations. And so let's just kind of check and make sure we're all in the same place. This is my test oven analysis worksheet. Um, I have a title here that just lets you know what that is. Um, number of students in, the particular, in this particular test was 10. I reduced it so we could actually see my spreadsheet a little easier so we're not scrolling back and forth. Um, there's the students and the student numbers. You could put names or student ID numbers. Over on the left hand side is the item number. In this case there are 20 um, items on this particular test and I'll slide it down here so you can see the last one. There's number 20. And then to the left of each one of the item numbers I, I mentioned whether it's a multiple choice item or a partial credit item. And so to the left of each one of these particular numbered items is the total number of credits that a student would have been able to get for that particular test, for that particular question. Along the bottom is the actual test score that that particular student scored on that test. Okay. So the way I filled this in is if they got it right, I just left it blank. If they got it wrong, I wrote down the particular question that they, or the particular choice that they chose instead of the right answer. And then along the partial credit ones is the number of partial credit points they got for each one of those question items, each one of those questions. So now at the top, I'm going to go ahead and start putting some headings in here because we're going to put the item analysis calculations off here to the right hand side. So I'll click on this cell here and I'll write this is going to be my test item analysis. And I'm going to use three columns here and I like this heading to be over the top all three items, so three columns. So I'm going to click on the test item and I'll just click and hold and drag across. And if I go to the top of my um, home tab, you see there's a spot that says Emergent Center, so I'll click Emergent Center. And what I've done now is the test item analysis, uh, it was once a single cell, is now those three have been made into this one larger test item analysis cell. Now I'm going to go ahead and put the items here that I'm going to be calculating. So the first one is um, the number of successful students, I'll call it N sub S, or the sum of all the credits that were um, awarded for that particular question. So I'm going to use the sigma symbol. You could do something else, but I'll show you we can find this. I'm going to go to insert and I'm going to choose symbol. And this is the symbol I want to use. It's the sigma symbol. Um, I've been using it a lot so you can see it's in my little section called recently used symbols. To find that symbol you can go ahead and just scroll up and down here to look for that particular math symbol. Okay. So here's my sigma symbol. I'll click on it and insert it and then close this window and so now I got n sub s or sigma and I'm going to call it sigma c which is the sum of the credits. So that's going to be the heading for that first column. My next column is going to be d sub f. I'll just put a lowercase f for now. That's going to be my difficulty index and my next column is going to be d sub c which is going to be my discrimination index. Now I've been using and calling them n sub s and sigma sub c and I can go ahead and do subscripts and here's how you do the subscript. So I'll click back on that cell and I'll choose just the S. So I'm going to just click and drag across that S. And I go to the Home tab and here's all your font capabilities. And if I click on this little lower right um, pull down, if I click on that, it'll give me a little window that gives me all kinds of other possibilities for italics, italics and etc. But the one that we're looking for is the subscript. So I'll click on the subscript and say OK. And if I click back on the other side, you can see now that doesn't say just say NS, but N sub S. I'm going to do the same thing for the sigma sub C. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. I'm going to choose the C and click that bottom right and also make that into a subscript. Okay. And I've got two more to do. So now D sub F. I'm just dragging across that F and selecting subscript there. And now my last one. Again, I just click on the cell. shows me what's in that particular cell. I'm going to just hold and drag across the C, so I've selected it. Hit that little menu to bring that menu up, or that little window up. Say subscript, and say OK. So now I've got my headings. I just want to go ahead and get these guys centered. So I'm going to center all of the things in these columns. So if you notice, I go to the top. I get that down arrow, that black down arrow. And I'm going to click across. I'm just clicking and holding and I'm going to center those items. So there we go. Um, I'm going to put a little color on top of this so it'll stand out. So 
I just selected all those cells, go up to the fill, and I'm going to use something other than the yellow that I've already been using. I'll go with orange. So there's my test item analysis headings. And next I'll start putting the formulas in here for these particular variables that I want to calculate. Um, and I'll pick that up in the next video.